In this video we'll be looking at using the base graphics package in R to create box and whisker plots which are used to summarize a data set. To illustrate creating box and whisker plots we will be considering some UK metrological data that has been recorded on a monthly basis and in particular the data in Southampton UK between 1950 and 1999. This data is publicly available from the UK Met Office website. So what we will be doing is comparing the range of temperatures recorded in each month of the year over the 50 year period of the data set. So if we take a look at the format of the data, it's got information about the year and month, min and max temperature, frost and rainfall information. So what we will do is first of all create a data set by using the read.csv function to load in our CSV data. So we put in the file name and we don't get any warning or error messages because the data is loaded in without any problems so we'll use the square brackets to indicate we want to look at the first 10 rows of the data so here is the data set. So what we'll then want to do is to convert the month from a number to a text string corresponding to which month it is and we'll make use of the factor function so we'll copy across the command from our separate text file so here we see we're taking the column month from the data frame that we've created turning it into a factor with the factor function and then specifying labels that correspond to the values 1 to 12 which is how the month has been stored in the raw data. So we submit that command and we've now got a factor variable. In the base graphics package there's a function called box plot and this is obviously used to create a box and whisker plot. So this particular function makes use of a formula to be able to specify which variables we're plotting. So we want the column max.temp as our y variable and we want to plot that in the box and whisker plot against the month. We then need to specify where the data is stored which is a particular data frame and then we can also add some information about the various axes and an overall title. So xlab is used to specify the text label on the x-axis and ylab the label to appear on the y-axis. So we'll, we will have maximum temperature there against month and we could also put in a main title which would be maximum monthly temperature at Southampton weather station. So we submit that command and we get our box and whisker plots and the data has been split out into the 12 months and we've got a separate box for each of those months which shows the expected variation across the year at this weather station.